think it's a fabulous book. I think that Hubble and Hattie have done an absolutely brilliant job in terms of the production. It comprises contributions from people from all walks of life, from the man on the street to the woman we see on the, on the telly, basically. So we've got MPs and we've got a celebrity chef and we've got artists and all of the royalties for the book go to the charity, the Samaritans. Here's my gorgeous girl, the muse, my inspiration, um, just after a long walk in the park today. So she's very relaxed, though, as you can see. So I call her my 40 mile per hour couch potato um, because she has a fabulous time when she's out in the park and she runs about like a mad thing and then she comes back and she does this for several hours. My interest or background for the book was Understanding that connection, particularly through getting Luca, between what dogs can do for us and the positive impact we make on our lives, particularly on the way we feel. And the experience of owning Luca and realising just what a difference she, not just she made to my life, but actually just having a dog made to my life. Because Prior to getting Luca, um, Paul and I live in, in a terrace house in a street. I used to be out first thing in the morning, back late at night. I hardly knew anybody in the street. And now since having the dog, I feel very much part of our community. I'm out walking every day. I'm talking to people um, locally, people with dogs, people with, without dogs. My I'm getting fresh air every day, I'm enjoying the, the outdoors. So in terms of what motivated me to write the book, it was that kind of understanding that dogs make such a difference um, to the way we, we feel. And speaking to others, realising of course that I am not alone in that. There were a couple of reasons for wanting to donate money uh, to the Samaritans. Um, one is, and here I am talking about my age again, but getting to a certain age and stage of my life where I wanted to give something back. And I felt that this book provided a real opportunity to give something um, back in a sense. Um, the other reason was that having worked in suicide prevention for several years and in mental health more generally, I am very aware of and very impressed by the fabulous work that Samaritans do in, in helping people who could be feeling at the end of their tether. Oh, favourite photo, that's a hard one. Um, well, one of my favourites is of John Landau, the Hollywood producer. There's a gorgeous one of him in his swimming pool with his massive dog on his chest. That was lovely. Um, there's a gorgeous one of Charlie Dimmock, again with her huge dog. I... Another of my favourites is of Marion Janner, who got her OBE for the work that she has done making mental health wars a better place to be. Um, and she's got a gorgeous photo with her dog, who is actually like her helper dog, her, her assistant's dog. And the first piece in the book is by the photographer Rankin. If you don't know his work, check him out. He is a world famous photographer. 
I actually heard him interviewed on Desert Island Discs and in that he was talking about his dogs and there's a fabulous self portrait of him with three, his three dogs although I now believe he's just acquired a fourth but there's a fabulous photo of him uh, as the first contribution in the book. Well, when I was looking around for a publisher for the book, I actually didn't know where to start because I wanted someone who would really understand what I was trying to do here. So it wasn't just about finding a publisher who would produce the book for me, but I, it was a kind of real head and heart thing. I wanted someone who would really understand and appreciate the ethos of what I was trying to do. So what I did was I went on Google and I Googled something like publishers plus dogs plus understanding or plus compassion and Hubble and Hattie came up um, and I saw that their ethos was very much about putting books out there which are about trying to promote the positive relationships and the synergy that exists between humans and our four-legged companions. Um, well, I'm hoping that if people have enjoyed the book, that they'll put a picture of the book on Facebook, that they will tell their uh, followers about it, and that they will tweet hashtag my dog, my friend. Um, maybe uploading a photograph of, the, of their own dog as well and telling their own stories about the positive impact that their dogs make on their lives. Because let's face it, the more people who know the difference dogs can make to our lives, the better it's going to be for those homeless dogs out there and for humans, people as well. Human people. Human people. <laughs> 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 now, here is that couch potato that I talked about. Look at <laughs> it's still looking very sleepy. We had a long, long walk this morning. Where's the munchki ears? Still a very sleepy dog here. I have to try and get some photos of her. This dog runs about like mad. She barks like mad. She's a incredible joie de vivre and it's possibly hard to imagine that looking at the sleepy dog just now. Um, they say that lurchers can withstand any degree of comfort and that's certainly been our experience with Luca. I mean, she spends an awful lot of her time oh, rearranging cushions and pillows and bed covers, lying, lying on her back with her feet up in the air. But how gorgeous is that girl? Look at that munchki nose. Look at that gorgeous munchki nose. But yes, um, look up. No, she's going back to sleep, I think. Good night, sweetie.